spending forever buried beside Marilyn Monroe. Begins with a comedic twist on the Western genre. Cat Ballou, released in 1965, features Jane Fonda and Lee Marvin in lead roles, supported by Tom Nardini, Michael Callan, Dwayne Hickman, Nat King Cole, and Stubby K. Directed by Elliot Silverstein, the film's screenplay by Walter Newman and Frank Pearson is an adaptation of Roy Chancellor's novel The Ballad of Cat Ballou. While the source material was a serious western, the film introduces humor while preserving some of the novel's darker tones and pays homage to classic westerns, including Shane. In the year 1894, Catherine Cat Ballou finds herself returning to her hometown of Wolf City, Wyoming. Taking up the role of a schoolteacher, she soon uncovers a devious scheme that threatens her family's legacy. Her father's ranch is the target of a plot designed to dispossess him of his land. As Cat delves deeper into the situation, she realizes the gravity of the threat facing her father and their ranch. Determined to protect her family's property, she embarks on a quest to thwart the plot and safeguard her father's rights. The story unfolds as Cat navigates through the challenges, revealing her resilience and determination in the face of adversity. In the 1965 film Cat Balu, the character Catherine Balu, commonly known as Cat, finds herself in a dire situation when her father's ranch is threatened by a powerful and corrupt businessman. Determined to protect her family's land, Cat takes a bold step by hiring Clay Boone, a charming but convicted cattle rustler, along with his uncle Jed. Despite their questionable past and lack of skill with firearms, Boone and Jed join forces with Cat, driven by their own sense of justice and perhaps a desire for redemption. Their inexperience with guns is evident, leading to moments of both tension and humor as they navigate the challenges of defending the ranch against those who wish to seize it by force. The dynamics between Cat, Boone, and Jed add depth to the narrative as they each bring their unique perspectives and abilities to the fight highlighting the theme of unlikely allies coming together in the face of adversity. In the 1965 film Cat Ballou, Tim Strawn stands out as the formidable adversary. Portrayed with a distinctive silver nose, he is a gun for hire known for his ruthless demeanor. His reputation precedes him as someone who instills fear through his mere presence. Strawn's role in the narrative is pivotal. He is employed by the Wolf City Development Corporation to thwart Catherine Ballou, and her family's efforts to protect their ranch. His character is a stark contrast to the film's protagonist, embodying the harsh realities of the frontier and the lengths to which individuals would go to secure their interests. Strawn's interactions with the other characters are charged with tension, as his intentions are clear to intimidate and overpower those who stand in the way of his employer's plans. His portrayal adds a layer of intensity to the film, making him a character that is both memorable and central to the unfolding drama. In the 1965 film Cat Balu, the character Catherine Balu's journey takes a significant turn as she transitions from a stance of self-defense to one of active retaliation. This shift is largely driven by the various individuals she encounters along her path, most notably Kid Shalene. His influence is pivotal as it propels Catherine into adopting a criminal lifestyle, a stark contrast to her initial intentions. The narrative follows her as she navigates this new way of life, with each interaction and experience shaping her approach and actions. The transformation of Kat's mission reflects her adaptation to the challenges and realities she faces, underscoring the dynamic nature of her character's development throughout the movie. Kat Balu is a film that stands out for its musical elements, which are integral to its storytelling. The presence of Nat King Cole in the movie is significant, as he delivered a memorable performance while facing a personal health challenge. His role in the film was one of his last artistic contributions before his untimely passing due to lung cancer. The music in Cat Balu not only enhances the narrative, but also serves as a poignant reminder of Cole's artistic talent and dedication to his craft, even in the face of adversity. His performance in the film remains a notable aspect of his artistic legacy. In the 1965 film Cat Balu, Lee Marvin took on the role of Kid Shalene, a character that became unforgettable due to Marvin's portrayal. His performance was not just an act, it was influenced by his own behavior off-screen. Marvin's tendency to indulge in alcohol was no secret, and it seeped into his character, giving Kid Shalene a layer of authenticity that only someone with Marvin's experience could provide. This aspect of his personal life brought a certain realism to the role, making his portrayal more genuine and convincing. 
The character of Kid Shaolin stood out in the film, not just for his actions, but also for the realness that Marvin infused into the role, leaving a lasting impression on both the cast and the audience. In the 1965 film Cat Balu, Jane Fonda portrays Catherine Balu, an aspiring school teacher who becomes an outlaw. Her performance is a study in contrast as she maintains a composed and serious presence throughout the film. This approach sets her apart from her co-star, Lee Marvin, who adopts a more humorous and erratic demeanor in his dual role as Kid Schilling and Tim Strawn. Fonda's character is central to the narrative, driving the plot forward with determination and a clear moral compass, even as the events around her spiral into comedic chaos. Her ability to hold on to the seriousness while still engaging with the film's lighter moments creates a dynamic character that anchors the story. Fonda's disciplined portrayal adds depth to the film, providing a counterbalance to the otherwise whimsical tone set by the ensemble cast. In the 1965 film Cat Balu, Lee Marvin's approach to his role was shaped by his strong personality and specific views on the craft of acting. He believed that an actor should fully embody the character, often pushing the boundaries of performance to bring a sense of authenticity and vitality to the screen. This philosophy is evident in his portrayal of Kid Shilleen, where he infused the character with a boisterous and exaggerated demeanor that stood out in the film. His commitment to the role and his belief in the power of excess in acting allowed him to deliver a performance that was both entertaining and memorable, leaving a lasting impression on audiences and critics alike. Marvin's Kid Shilleen was not just a character, but a figure that seemed to live beyond the confines of the film, showcasing the actor's ability to create a believable and compelling persona through his distinctive style of acting. During the production of Cat Balu, the team encountered significant hurdles, particularly in executing a complex scene involving a horse. This particular scene required precise timing and coordination, which was challenging given the animal's unpredictability. Additionally, the film's shooting schedule was exceptionally tight, demanding efficiency from the entire cast and crew. The director had to ensure that every scene, especially the more complicated ones, was captured correctly on the first attempt, as there was seldom an opportunity for a second take. This pressure to get it right the first time added to the intensity of the filming process and required a high level of focus and professionalism from everyone involved. Despite these obstacles, the film was completed successfully, demonstrating the team's dedication and skill. During the filming of Cat Balu in 1965, Jane Fonda and Lee Marvin took a notable stand for the film crew who were facing strenuous conditions. Their advocacy brought attention to the essential need for fair working conditions, especially given the demanding nature of the film's production schedule. Their actions underscored the importance of recognizing the hard work and dedication of the crew, ensuring that their efforts were not only acknowledged, but also met with appropriate measures to safeguard their well-being and rights. This move by Fonda and Marvin was a significant gesture towards fostering a respectful and just environment on set, setting a precedent for future productions to consider the welfare of all individuals involved in the filmmaking process. The 1965 film Cat Balu emerged as a surprise hit, with its success catching even the cast off guard. Jane Fonda, one of the leading stars, did not foresee the film's future influence and popularity. It was only upon viewing the completed movie that she, along with her fellow cast members, realized the extent of its appeal and the potential cultural significance it would hold. This western comedy, blending humor with action, unexpectedly resonated with audiences, securing its place in cinematic history as a beloved classic. The film's reception was a clear indicator that even without initial high expectations, a movie could achieve great success and leave a lasting impression on both its viewers and those who helped bring it to life on the screen. During the filming of the 1965 movie Cat Balu, character actor J.C. Flippin encountered significant personal challenges while contributing to this film, he faced a severe health issue that led to the amputation of his leg, a consequence of complications arising from diabetes. This situation presented a considerable obstacle for Flippin, yet he continued his role in the production. His dedication to his craft and the film project was evident as he overcame this adversity to fulfill his professional commitments. The film itself, a Western comedy, became well-known and Flippin's involvement, despite his health struggles, added a layer of determination and professionalism to the behind-the-scenes narrative of Cat Balu. In the 1965 film Cat Balu, 
actor J.C. Flippin portrayed the role of Sheriff Cardigan. After his passing, J.C. Flippin was laid to rest in a cemetery that has become known for its notable figures, including Marilyn Monroe. The proximity of their final resting places highlights the prominence of the cemetery and its association with celebrated individuals from various fields. The burial site of J.C. Flippin next to Marilyn Monroe serves as a reminder of the enduring legacy of the talents who have been interred there, drawing attention to the historical significance of the location.